So please, welcome Eomac, one half of Laka, and uh, on stage. Thank you. And thank you, Mikhail, for that amazing introduction. Um, can I get my screen on the screen? Ah, there we go. Um, so yeah, I'm going to talk a little bit, just very short, maybe 10, 12 minutes about how I put together my, my drums and how I synthesize my drums using the FM8 software. Um, so with this idea of, of loops in techno, just trying to take it down to the very basic elements that make up any, any given loop. And I'm going to do it just in the context of a short track I wrote recently. <clears throat> very simple, just a few different parts, kick, snare, hi-hats, and some synth sounds. I'll just then go through, play the track first and go through it afterwards and de deconstruct just the drums. I'm not going to look at the synths for this particular workshop, just going to look at the drums, how I put them together. Um, and looking at the drum synthesis, because drum synthesis was something that I'd been producing music for many years, maybe eight years, and I did not know how to synthesize drums. I thought it was something really complex, and I was almost afraid to approach it. And once I did, I realized how simple it is to working with the basics to, to create really functional, tight uh, drum sounds quite easily. Um, so I'm going to show you that and how I do it. But I'll play the track first, um, and it sounds like this. It. It's not a fully fleshed out track yet, but it's more like a sketch. It was actually written for the Native Instruments uh, sketch, sketches uh, feature that they put together recently. Um, but I started, as I do with many tracks, with the drums. So I sh I'll show you the individual parts first. Really, really simply kick. And some hats. A noisy clap. And this little squelch sound for texture. Really basic building blocks of techno. Um, so I want to look in detail about how, how I put together the, the FM8 kick. First of all, again, a place I often start in tracks is with the kick and a really you know, essential, fundamental element in techno music. Um, so it's, it's, it's this here, and this, I don't know if, what level people are at, if people know the, this piece of software, FM8, um, <clears throat> but it's, it can look a bit confusing and daunting, but uh, it's actually really simple to use. I always just don't use any presets. I just have a, have a basic uh, default sound in this expert window. And don't be put off by the tag experts. It's actually really, really simple to use this little, little window. You have a, an oscillator. You turn on and off. You've got six different oscillators. And then the X one is a noise oscillator. Um, so maybe I'll just play, uh, play the loop solo. Play the kick. 
to hear the kick. So it's basically just made out of a sine wave that's been shaped using envelopes and a, a, no a noise oscillator. So I'll turn off the noise. You hear the kick as it is. And then I'll show you the, the envelopes so you can see how simple it is to make these, these kicks. It's basically a, a combination between an uh, ampli amplitude envelope and a pitch envelope. This is the amplitude envelope, a shape that just makes it sh the kick short and sharp. And then if I click on the pitch, the pitch envelope shapes the, 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 the contour of the pitch of, of the kick drum. A sound that goes from high frequencies to low frequencies really quick is going to sound like a kick. If I change this, you'll start to hear the sound change. If I give it more envelope, it just means the difference between the highest frequency and the lowest frequency is getting broader, so you get a much wider spread of frequencies, so you can have different types of sounds of kick. So that's how I put that kick together, but I think to show in the context of this workshop, it's probably best if I just open up a completely fresh FM8 and just put together a kick really quickly to show you just how simple and uh, easy it is to get really functional and really interesting kick drums and also hi-hats, snares, claps, but I'll focus on the kick for the moment and then um, I will very quickly synthesize a drum um, using the techniques that I would use anyway. I'll just very quickly get rid of that and create a kick pattern. Yeah, starting with a basic sine wave. This is the default patch that I start with. Doesn't sound so interesting, it's just a, a sine wave. But I go into FM8, and you see it there, it's just one oscillator that's just switched on to sine wave, and this is the output here. I just turn that up, and straight away, moving the envelope will turn it from something that sounds like you know, a melodic tone into something more percussive just by shorting the envelope. It's super, super basic stuff, um, but it's it's what I do all the time. It's kind of the, the, the bread and butter of making making your own sounds, controlling the basics, getting them to meld together. So then I, I do that, and then I go to the pitch envelope to just try and immediately get some sort of shape, a basic shape for the drum, and then I'll develop it further afterwards. Um, there's a little preset in the in the pitch envelope. If you click on pitch and go into the envelope, this P falling will give you a rough sort of percussive shape of a high frequency going really quickly to a low frequency. It'll give you that kind of kick shape. And just by playing with the envelope, you'll it'll start to become a kick as you listen. It takes a little while to to, to tweak it sometimes. And it's kind of just a balance between the pitch envelope, the amount of the envelope, and the amplitude envelope of the oscillator. It's starting to sound like a techno kick. Tighten up the envelope even more. And again, it's just playing with it to get the sound you want. You can get those like laser like. So that's pretty functional to me. If I was working and starting a track, I go, that's a that's a functional kick. It's not so interesting sounding yet, but within like three minutes you have like a functional kick that you can build upon. And for me, the most interesting thing with most synthesis is noise. When you add, start adding noise to things, that's when they start, to, for me, to have life, and they come together, and they have texture. So I always use the noise filter in this on all my, all my kicks, and pretty much all the sounds, even melodic or harmonic sounds I create with FM8 or any synth, I use the, the noise. So you just add the noise into the mix by just turning up the volume of it, then you add the, the oscillator to the noise, and you start to take a bit more shape, a bit more. And then you just go into the noise oscillator itself and just turn it up to try to start to hear the texture of, this, of the noise itself.
And again, then just playing with the envelope of the noise to get it to sit with how you want in your kick. cool thing in FM8 as well is the the sound of the cutoff and the the resonance in the in the noise the sound sound amazing and you get so many different textures just by small movements and if you bring the cutoff down really low into the low frequencies it just can add real depth and width to the kick as well depth width and texture tighten up again with the with the envelope. So it's just a matter of, of just finding the balance between the, the different envelopes that you're using and you can create pretty much any any kind of kick sound. Uh, just a little trial and error and adjustments back and forth. Um, and then another thing I like in the FM8 is the, is the fact that it is an FM synth so you can get these beautiful uh, modulations that create nice metallic electronic kind of sounds that again add texture to your kick. Doing this that I'm doing here is just modulating the oscillator back into itself so it just starts to get more and more noisy. At its most extreme it gets probably too much, but a little bit just again adds texture. There, that to me is a nice kick. And then on top of that, you can send it, all I often do is send it to a, a, a separate channel that will have extra effects on. Like this one here, I've got some driver distortion and EQ that was kind of set up in the track. But, but once you have a really functional tight kick, then you can start building upon that to make it really interesting. You can make an entire track just from this one kick sound. Um, just building and building upon it, like maybe resampling it and then throwing that back into a, a sampler and pitching that around. Business. Possibilities are endless, but once you start with a really good starting point in electronic, any electronic music production, I think a good starting point is, uh, and you're really on your way to making something interesting. Um, so I'll just apply the same techniques to, say, a hi hat and create a little hi hat pattern. just a, a sine wave to begin with. But to me, hi-hats are super simple and, and a lot of fun to make and play with. Again, just using noise. There's so much you can do with noise, it's so rich. And again, just bring, bringing the envelope down to make that noise nice and tight and you've got a, you've got a hi-hat. If you want a softer hat, Again, the nice thing about most synths, but this FM8 in particular that I'm using at the moment, is how easy it is to automate things. So you can automate the, every parameter to have constant dynamic movements in your drums, which is something I think is really important uh, in techno music, because it's such a repetitive and loop-based thing that the most more subtle dynamics you can have in every part of your, your uh, in each sound you're using, the more interesting your track's going to be. Um, so all these easy to automate parameters uh, will add such rich, richness, texture, and life to your to your um, to your music. Uh, I'm getting a times up flash there, so I think I've got to wrap it up. Um, so yeah, that was pretty much what I wanted to talk about anyway. Was just to give you a little short impression of how quick and easy it can be to make functional drums, and then how how you can build upon that through automation or resampling to, 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 to give more life to those drums, to make them interesting musically as well as functionally. So I hope that, yeah, demonstrated a little bit of that. Thank you. Thank, thank you very much, Ian. Uh, Eomek, everyone, if you have a moment, please, please, please take some time to explore his vast 
a catalog of recorded music. His last album, Better and Tracks, a wonderful piece of music. He has his own label, and he's one half of Locker. And I heard he played recently a popular online TV show for electronic music as well. So take some time to explore his uh, music. Eomek, thank you very much. So now.